morning. We're hiking up a couple peaks today. We got 13 and a half miles to do today to get into Stratton where we're gonna be picked up and go to the main roadhouse for, I was going to say a zero, but probably now multiple days off. And I say that because my feet are worse. The one that was bad yesterday has gotten worse. The other one has started to, it's like the same thing all over again, but I don't even have the adhesive on there. So I don't know why it's coming back when it was fully healed. My best guess is it's the friction on the thin skin, but it is so incredibly frustrating because it was done, it was healed. I already took two weeks off and now I have to get off again, wait for them to heal again, and then what? Like hop back on and risk this happening again or take another week off and let the skin get thicker? I mean, and I don't even know how to treat it. The gauze came right off. Uh, another hiker, Kaleidoscope, luckily gave me sticky pads that are medical grade that will hopefully stay in place today so I minimize the damage I'm gonna do today, but I'm scared to use any kind of adhesive even like that, but I don't really have a choice today. I'm wearing double socks just in case it helps. I mean, I just, I could scream or cry or both. You know, all I wanna do is get this thing over with. And it's like, I can't. But anyway, right now we're just gonna get through today. So let's go climb a mountain. Here's the trail I just came up. And this is worth noting. This is a little plaque commemorating the CCC's work. And uh, this was the area where they finished the very last section of the Appalachian Trail in 37. Kind of neat. People put some rocks up there. You guys, I didn't look around at that plaque on the ground. Perhaps I should have. But at that marker, we officially have 200 miles remaining. Just 200. And 100 of those miles is the 100 mile wilderness, which I've already done. And then what, 17 is um, Baxter State Park and Katahdin. So I don't know, we've got like 80 something miles left um, before I feel like we're pretty much at the end. I just hope I can hold it together, man. I posted on Facebook. I texted my hiking group trying to get some ideas for what to do. Um, once I get to Stratton, I've got to make some decisions on what solutions I want to try, go buy the stuff or order it online quickly, and uh, hopefully we can hold it together and bang this out. 200 miles, yeah. Look, I made my own little marker to celebrate. 200 miles left, yay! Woohoo! <laughs> now I'll remove it because I know it's in the wrong spot. <laughs> but yeah, woo! Less than 10 miles left. I love when we get to that point of the day. You may be wondering why I have one camp shoe on. It's because the foot that was getting worse again originally, um, is a lot worse now. I did a lot of damage in those five or so miles that I just hiked apparently. Um, it got so bad to where, well, I've got eight and a half miles left over the Crocker Mountains. There's two of them, north and south or something. And it got to where I was really questioning if I could make it over because it was hurting so bad. And I took off my sock, looked at the bandage. It's still in place, which is good, but you can see there's a lot of fluid oozing out of it. And crockers are supposed to be pretty hard. Um, I tried folding down the heel of my shoe and kind of tying the laces around my ankle to see if I could just kind of hike that way. That did not work very well. I tried hiking in one camp shoe, one hiking shoe. Um, that is not great on downhills. My toes are crammed up in the toe of the camp shoe. Um, and it's supposed to rain this afternoon. So I um, had to make the hard choice and call it a day. So the good news is that there's a logging road right here. 
and I'm staying at um, Main Roadhouse, which just reopened or opened, but everybody seems to love it. So they are able to come get me here on this logging road for a small fee. I don't know what that is, but you know what? It is what it is at this point. Um, if I continued, it's going to be the worst day in history for me, and um, I'm going to end up injuring it more and hiking in the rain with like a camp shoe on and potentially hurting myself falling down a mountain. So, you know, it's a hard decision, but it's also not a hard decision. Um, it's very frustrating though, but you know, first world problems, you gotta kinda, <laughs> it is still frustrating, but you gotta keep it in perspective. Um, it's just more delays is all. So we'll see what it looks like when I finally get these bandages off and, um, see how much more time we need here.